Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Opinion Machine, the show about all things gaming. My name is Killjoy, and today we're going to talk about something that has royally miffed me off. And as you can see on the screen, we're talking about Mario Kart Tours. So we're talking about a mobile game. Now, mobile games, a bit of a wild west, heavy on the money. But this article, I am on uh, Eurogamer. This article is going around, doing all the rounds at the moment, because Mario Kart Tour is out uh, at the time of me doing this. And it turns out not only is it free to play with your loot boxes and or whatever they're calling it in the game and all these microtransactions, it also has a subscription option. Now, I'm going to go over this, I'm going to read this article, go for it, and just tell you why I think this is just disgusting and I hope this stops and I hope Nintendo realises this is not acceptable for the kind of game that they're putting together. Now I will say I have not played Mario Kart Tour, I was going to play Mario Kart Tour. Then I read about this and I was like, you know what, I'm not going to support a game, even as a free download, I'm not going to support a game that has this kind of heavy monetization in it. So this is sort of EA Activision level of scum. And uh, I hope this never comes to like proper games on like, the Switch and other consoles. But you can see, so uh, it's out, as time of doing this, it's out today. and But it has a $4.99 subscription that gives you uh, gold cosmetic items, access to 200cc, and I think it gives you, uh, you gain extra items for winning races and stuff. So you get free things from doing it. Um, so it's four ninety nine. So it's basically five pound a month, and you get the gold stuff, which you know what, fine, it's cosmetic. You get extra stuff after the races, which it sounds like this game has a lot of things unlocked. But I think what's really unacceptable here is locking two hundred CC behind it. Now two hundred CC was a mode that got put into Mario Kart Eight. It was a free download back then. Uh, and it's, just, it's the whole mode was kind of broken. It was it was designed to be a lot of fun, but the, none of the tracks were really designed for it. But it was just a crazy mode. The fact that they're locking a mode that has been previously free in other games before is disgusting, and I cannot I cannot be on board with this kind of thing. Fine, if you want to unlock some gold cosmetic items, you have stuff. Fine, if you want to give people perks of the game, some extra stuff after it. Fine, but to lock an entire mode behind this subscription is just not acceptable. And yes, okay, it's on mobile, but even this is too far. I would not expect, you know, as a free-to-play game, I'd be okay with being like, yeah, okay, you get all the free, you know, you get all the different modes free, you've had all this stuff, you know, you, you have your, your loot boxes or your, your microtransactions in it. That's fine, but now you're locking off content with more money, a subscription service. Five quid, which they say here is the same price as Apple Arcade, you get more for your money from getting um, the Nintendo Switch Online on your Switch now, um, I, I think this is absolutely disgusting. This game should basically be free to play or it should have a subscription model. It should not have both. What you're doing here and announcing this just before the game comes out, what you're essentially doing is telling people you have made this game to make as much money as possible. This is disgusting and I, I'm absolutely shocked the fact that this has this subscription to it. You know, this was a game that, I mean, admittedly, I don't play mobile games. I have Super Mario Run. I never bought the full game. I just played it, you know, I play a little bit of it now and again. But generally speaking, like, Nintendo games on mobile, or most mobile games, are not for me. And that's okay. Like, I don't need to be into them. I get it that people like playing on the mobile phone, but, like, I, when I'm at home, I've got my Switch, I've got my PC, I've got my X Xbox 360, I've got plenty of consoles to play on. What little interest I had in playing this game is gone. I am not going to support this game in any way when it is this egregious when it comes to monetization. This is not acceptable, not on, not even on mobile, and I'm sure there's other games that have done it. It's probably not the only game that's done this kind of stuff. This is probably just the biggest example. This is Nintendo who have said in the past that they tr maybe are monetizing a bit too hard. I understand that Super Mario Run being 10 quid to buy on mobile, not the easiest sell. And then Fire Emblem came out and apparently I can only go on what I've heard was quite fair with the amount of stuff you get, but it was free to play. A lot of them are the gacha type mechanics. But this is just not acceptable. This is not acceptable in any game. It's already bad enough that you have EA and Activision doing insane amounts of loot boxes and microtransactions in their full price games that have got fuck all content in them, and then you have to pay for these extra bits. This thing is on mobile. Some people are going to ignore it. They're going to, hey, you can just ignore it. You don't have to pay $4.99 a month. It's not about the fact that it's you can ignore it. It's about the fact that it's there in the first place. This is greedy. 
This is disgusting. And if this if this does well, which this game is going to do, you're going to see more stuff like this cross over into more mobile games. And then it's going to come to these these games on platforms. Nintendo released Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, and Smash Bros. Ultimate. Three games that are 40 or 50 quid, depending on where you buy them from, have hours of entertainment. Breath of the Wild had a DLC pass, that you, you which was worth the money, in my opinion. Mario Odyssey gave away free DLC, and Smash Brothers gave you every single character, pretty much every stage, and the only DLC you got were brand new characters. This, on the other hand, is no, this this is like, how much money can we get out of somebody? We'll carry on reading. We've got here it says, you know, it doesn't give you, the subscription doesn't give you extra chances to characters, carts, and gliders. The things that you're probably most interested in doing playing this game. Um, it does it's you know uh, these are the things that are locked behind like the gacha style um you can have it for f f uh, the subscription for free for two weeks but it automatically starts if you don't cancel it uh which is bad <laughs> already bad i don't like things that do that um so then you get yeah this is this thing about loot boxes so you get rubies so you have, you have like coins and rubies rubies you use um what's it one go on the warp pipe costs five rubies so for every five rubies you get one cost 10 cost costs 45. Now here's the price of all these things. Free rubies is 199. So you can't even get f a, a shot out of the cannon for, for two quid. You'd have to spend six pound basically to get two goes. No, that's 10. Sorry. Oh, sorry, that's 10 rubies. Oh, whoa, that's not even. Oh my god, I read that wrong. So 10 rubies is 599, but to have 10 goes costs 45 rubies. What the f? Fuck, this is why I don't like microtransactions. The, the, this... To have 10 goes, you need 45. So you need to pay 599 uh, five times. Because it only gives you 10. That's like outrageous. 48. So if you, get 40, if you want to have 10 goes on this cannon, the closest you're going to get to it is 48, which is 26 quid. That's the price of a game. It's a price that's less, even more expensive than Nintendo Online for the year. 93 is for 50 quid, 100... Oh my god. This is just outrageous. Limited pack with 45 rubies, so 10 goes. 5 star tickets, don't know what those do, and unlock a Mario for 99. Like, Nintendo have been experimenting with different price models on their mobile games, but this needs to stop. This is not acceptable at all. Like, I am not going to support this. I mean, even reading some of the comments in this, you can tell people are not happy. I hope that people go on Twitter or Facebook or whatever and just let them, you know, calmly, but just let them know that this is not acceptable. You can't have all this kind of monetization in these games. Yes, it's on mobile. Yes, a lot of people aren't going to care. But this is just not, this is just not <laughs> acceptable to have on any kind of game. Like, you either make your game free to play, free to start, a subscription based model full price like you know there are different ways of doing it but when you start combining those things all you're doing is showing that you just all you care about is money i am hugely disappointed uh, in this news and if this continues then i mean firstly i'm, I'm not going to touch any more um of nintendo's mobile stuff admittedly i've only played super mario run i've not touched any of their other stuff but this this sort of stuff if this is going to continue, then I'm definitely not going to touch any more of their mobile things. And if this starts to creep into games on the Switch, then, you know, I'm going to be very, very unhappy. Because this is not the kind of thing I want to see. It's Mario Kart, a game series that people love. It's always one of Nintendo's, if probably second best or first best selling franchise at this point. Because people love Mario Kart, all ages. So what you're doing now is you're playing on the fact that this is a huge franchise, and now you're trying to milk every single person i hope that more people take note of this and you know obviously they go by downloads but stop playing this game do not invest in this game whether the game's good or not i don't know i've been watching a few videos people are saying mixed things about it but regardless when this comes out and you have this kind of monetization this is not okay and i hope more people will understand that it's quite a short video today guys um but i really very strongly disappointed in this news i think it's disgusting and I hope that we can stop more um, games coming out in the future like this. And this doesn't just apply to Nintendo. This applies to any company. Any of these big companies that are making mobile games. This just so happens to be a game that I was interested in. But I'm not going to download and play this now. Absolutely not. 
But thank you very much for watching anyway. Um, if you like this video, hit like. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, of course. And then head up, uh, put some comments down there. Tell me what you think of this, because I, I, I'm genuinely interested in what people think. Um, obviously, we've got Facebook and Twitter, so hit us up on there as well if you want. But until next video, I'll see you then.